Well, I think a lot of people are going to come in, you know, thinking about spying in terms of what they've seen on TV and in read in books, right? You know, spying is something that eternally fascinates us. But at Spyscape, we're really here to show you kind of what the real world of spying is like. Spyscape has seven primary galleries, um, each of which is themed on a different aspect of spycraft, ranging from surveillance and hacking to cyber warfare and encryption. So as you go through the experience, every gallery features stories of real spies um, with amazing spy devices. And then in most of the galleries, you get to then try your own hand at whatever that spy skill is through our interactive spy challenges. Those spy challenges include things like lie detection and interrogation booths um, to agility and special ops laser tunnels. And then most importantly, it's also a personal journey. So when you go through the space, we give you an identity band. And we, as you go through, you play both the interactive spy challenges as well as go to question stations where we test your risk tolerance, your IQ, and your personality. We're really focused on showing how every person uses spy skills in their day-to-day -day lives. Um, each of us, in a lot of ways, operates like a spy. Um, but we also tell a really empowering story in surveillance about four AP journalists who use surveillance tactics um, to actually uncover slavery in the fishing industry in Southeast Asia using the types of tactics that um, people would traditionally associate with spying. So every gallery at Spyscape connects its subject matter to the present day. So we talk about um, encrypted messaging services like WhatsApp and the idea that we already know that no code is unbreakable, so it's only a matter of time before something like WhatsApp is going to be cracked as well.